Dear sis, just a few lines to let you know that I'm okay and that you are not to worry about me. I was grateful to receive your letter. Sorry that it's taken so long to write back. I'm writing to you from somewhere in France. It's almost peaceful here at times, when the artillery stops. Some mornings I can hear a bird singing in the trees. It reminds me of home. I hear Billy has finally gone to sea. I know he gets seasick. I do hope he's okay. I'm sure he'll write to you soon, once he's settled in. I pray conditions on board are better than here in the trenches. Though I'm confident he will make plenty of friends to see him through. I haven't received your parcel just yet. And I fear the transport ship may have been sunk. I do appreciate the gesture though, and hope it arrives nonetheless. The news we hear from day to day at this part of the front is very cheerful and encouraging. Yesterday, a German officer captured near here said it could not go on very much longer. I, for one, hope these remarks will prove correct. When the artillery fires, you can see a flash before hearing the shriek of the shell passing over our heads. It's like that big storm we had on the night before I left. Do you remember? You were in such a frightful way. Billy took good care of you that night. I'm already tired of the sound of shelling. And I long to hear how your piano lessons have progressed in my time away. Mother says you are doing very well indeed. I miss you all dearly. And I wish I could come home to see everyone. I hope this letter finds you and all is well. I can't wait to come home. All my love. Your tongue.